What's up you guys? It's Levi here. So at least several times a year I get asked from people I know that just have gotten a new computer recently within the last few years if they need to pay for antivirus on that computer. And generally this comes from the fact that they see a prompt like this that shows up on their screen. Um, it either asks them to sign up for antivirus or it asks them to renew their antivirus that was on their machine? Well, the answer is no. You do not need to pay for antivirus on a Windows computer. Microsoft has this nice free antivirus that comes with Windows called Windows Defender. Um, the biggest problem, though, is a lot of computer manufacturer companies get greedy and the money that you spend to buy the computer is not enough for them. They got to have more money. And so what they do is they offer all this junk on computers, junk software, antivirus being one of those, and they get paid extra money by offering that junk on that computer. Well, then what happens is because that junk antivirus was installed on the computer, um, you get these props that come up later on, maybe, several months, possibly even a year later, that you need to renew your antivirus or pay for the antivirus. But that is simply not the case. You do not need to pay for that antivirus. Um, so in today's video, I'm going to be covering how you can check to see if you have a paid antivirus on your machine. Then I'll show you how to uninstall that paid antivirus. And finally, I'll show you how to make sure the free Windows Defender antivirus is set up and active on your Windows 11 machine. And yes, I stated this tutorial is specifically for Windows 11 machines. You can tell if you have a Windows 11 machine just by looking down at the bottom bar here. If you see the start menu section in the middle here, you have Windows 11. If you see the start button right here is all the way over on the left hand side, you have Windows 10. If you have Windows 10, I have a tutorial on how to make sure you have free antivirus set up on Windows 10, and I'll link it down below in the description so that you can check that out. All right, so up here on my screen, I have the most likely antiviruses that are on your machine that are going to be paid antiviruses. Uh, you can either pause the video and then take a look on your machine and see if you have any of these antiviruses, or you can check them out down below in the description because I'll list those down below as well. So now I'm gonna be showing you how to check for those antiviruses on your machine. Uh, one of the, there's really two areas that you can check for this. Um, the first one being is down in the bottom right hand corner of your screen by clicking that little up carrot. Um, you're almost always going to see an icon down here with one of these antiviruses if you have the, one of those paid antiviruses on your machine. So for instance, on my machine here, I have McAfee Total Protection installed on here. Another way to do it other than going down here is to go to the search box here and typing in security. And just hitting that Windows security box. And then going to the virus and threat protection area. Uh, once you click into there, it's going to tell you what antivirus is installed on your machine. And as you can see, it is not the free Windows Defender antivirus, it's McAfee Virus Scan, like we saw down in the corner down below here. All right, so the next step is getting rid of that antivirus, and I'm going to show you how to specifically do it for McAfee Total Antivirus Protection, but the process is going to be the same or very similar for other antiviruses. So you're going to type in add programs and features, or you can just type in add really. We 
look for that antivirus that you saw on the previous screen that I showed you, uh, which was for me, McAfee Total Protection. Go ahead and click the little three dots on the side, hit uninstall, hit uninstall again. Go ahead and hit yes on this screen that asks if you want to allow changes to your device. And then your antivirus is going to have a prompt that comes up. And this is going to be different depending on what antivirus you have. So in McAfee's case, I have the option to check the box to uninstall it. Um, and then it also asks me if I want to remove all files from this program, which I do because I want to get rid of this thing. And then I just hit the remove box. They try to usually trick you by saying that you have an active subscription. Oh no, don't unsubscribe. You're going to lose your benefits. How are you losing any benefits if you're paying for something that you don't need to pay for? So go ahead and hit that remove button. And some antiviruses might be really tricky on that this because they don't want you to, to leave. And so they might have multiple prompts trying to convince you. Just click through them all. Get rid of the stupid thing. You don't need it anymore. All right, so now you sit here and wait for it to uninstall. All right, so you're probably, it's still uninstalling now, but it's saying um, turn on virus protection. So this is a good sign. It's showing that it's uninstalling. And with the power of video editing, boom, this is uninstalled. So actually it took about probably five minutes for this to uninstall, which is way longer than I thought it would be. So depending on the speed of your computer and how, and how powerful your computer is, it may take a little bit to uninstall. Uh, most antiviruses are going to give you the option to restart. So that is what we're going to do. And that's what I advise you to do as well. All right. So after restarting the computer, we want to check to make sure that the antivirus is gone and that our free Windows Defender is enabled on the machine. And so we're going to go back to that security screen. And go back into that virus and threat protection page. All right, so this is what you see when you don't have a third party antivirus that's installed and Windows, Windows Defender is set up. You no longer see the McAfee antivirus or whatever antivirus that um, you had as a third party inside of here. It shows a current threat screen, a virus and threat protection settings screen, virus and threat protection update screen, and a ransomware protection screen. If you see all of this inside of this window, Windows Defender is active and you are good to go. As long as you don't see any errors inside of here. Once we see all green check marks, so we're good to go. We got our free Windows Defender antivirus set up on the machine and we save ourselves money and don't have to give it away to antivirus companies that we don't need to be paying. So that's my video for you on how to get the free Windows Defender set up on your machine and to remove the paid antivirus that's on your machine. I hope you found this video useful. If you found this video useful, make sure that you're sharing this video with everyone that you know that could find it useful, that you're hitting that subscribe button if you haven't already, and that you're smashing that like button because all of these actions help promote this channel to more people out there in the world and thus helps more people be cyber secure and help protect themselves from the threats out there in the world. Thank you so much for watching. Have a fantastic day.